Hello, I'm Heather Almorjo. We are 46 days into 100 days to launch. When we hit that 100 days, we're going to be having a crowdfunding campaign to launch Naa, which is a permaculture design and foodscaping company, which has a social enterprise component of hiring indigenous and marginalized people. And I'm working towards that crowdfunding launch with this vlog, which is helping me to remain accountable, show you what I'm working on as I'm working on it in case you ever want to try launching a company or if in the future Naa becomes very successful then we will use some of the details from this as a how-to for launching it in other cities and other communities. So we're four days away from the halfway mark. I think when I get to the halfway mark, I'm going to start counting backwards. Um, just because it tends to be more exciting when it's a countdown instead of a count up. I've been working on the logo. Now that we have a name, I've been working on the logo and I feel like I'm pretty close. I'm not a logo designer. I'm not a branding designer. I'm just kind of going based on my intuition, what I think would be fantastic. And um, I think I've got something almost ready to throw into the iPad and sketch up there. I've been working on the gifts for the Kickstarter campaign. With every um, level, there will be gifts given away to people. So there's been a lot of that developing and some rough sketches of the gardening journal. And I've spent some time working on the one foodscape design that I'm doing right now. And from that, I've been able to work out, out some pricing packages. So basically having all levels of accessibility, you know, it can be a simple one page design all the way to having a turnkey finished project where somebody comes in, designs it, installs it for you. So I'm trying to have every level of that available. And I think I've got a pretty good pricing system now. I was told, let me grab my tea for this one. I was told when I started on this journey, you know, if there was anybody out there who did not want to see you succeed, who wanted to bring you down, who wanted to trash talk you or defame you or slander you or something like that, any time you try and do a personal endeavor, um, such as a crowdfunding, starting your own business, starting a new project, people are going to come out of the woodworks to pull you down. And, you know, sometimes it doesn't matter. Sometimes it's the kind of pulls you down that pushes you up, that gives you, you know, somebody will say some vulgar um, racial slur you know, and you're like, oh, you're an idiot and I'm going to prove you wrong. And then sometimes it'll be somebody really near and dear to you that'll do something that's just really backhanded and you're like, ouch, why am I bothering, you know? And so at every level, we're going to, when we're trying to do something new and exciting and big and special and important to us, there's going to, it, it's inevitable that there's going to be people that come and stand against us and stand in our way and try and stick their foot out and trip you up. And I, I have a temper and I have a hard time handling some of it. But I feel like, you know, trying to be upfront with people and just say, what are you doing? You know, is my best solution. And sometimes they're able to be honest and upfront and other times they're very backwards and it hurts and uh, you know just look our wounds and keep going forward because it isn't worth dwelling don't look back you're not going that way is what Ragnar Lothbrok said in the Vikings show and I'm grateful for that phrase because it is gonna probably end up on my vision wall um, I'm at five minutes winter's coming so as we move into winter, I hope you'll tune in and share when you find something important and interesting and 
stick with us. Thanks.